Hello everyone, this is Annette Stanton. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I want to talk about staying in alignment and what does that actually mean? I was just um, speaking with a managing director of a company in New Zealand um, in regard to that very question that uh, she was asking. And, you know, because she'd noticed that uh, she'd had a week of uh, reacting to certain situations that were happening externally with the team um, and also at home. So one of the things to make sure, um, how do you know when you're in alignment, you feel a sense of flow, you feel a sense of um, things working out, and you just feel a lot more relaxed in mind and body. And um, the difference with being out of alignment is where you start to react, you feel overwhelmed, you're trying to push yourself, you're moving into uh, overdrive. So um, this is where you're having an outer body experience versus alignment is having an inner body experience. So how do we stay in alignment as much as you possibly can? Well, we need both. The key is, uh, are you flinging from one to the other? That's the, you know, making sure that you're aware of that and, the, and making sure that the key here is knowing when you're out of alignment and then knowing what to do about it so that you don't stay stuck because you'd notice that, she was staying stuck and then focusing in on the future and worrying about something or you know that happened in the past and and those sorts of things and and the, and it is so important to stay so present so that you're not getting caught up with the emotions let's talk about three ways that you can do that the power of the breath is number 1 so being so in the moment connecting at a deeper level in a body experience through mind mind and body through the power of the breath. Breathing, in other words, consciously breathing will actually help to slow the brain waves down. It'll help to slow yours, your mind down so that you can go inside having an inner body experience to be able to listen in to your intuitive guidance and the best way to respond versus react, okay? So number two area, these are not in any particular order, by the way, is to say, stay present. So when you're in the moment and staying present to life, in other words, not jumping ahead, projecting into a future, not thinking about something that's happened in the past, it's staying present to each moment, this moment, this moment, this moment, this moment. That is where the power is. So when you combine the power of the breath and being very present, in this moment, then you are able to respond with emotional and mental intelligence as a spiritual being having a physical experience instead of being eruptive, you know, reactive, um, and then, you know, penetrating the physical world in a way that is um, incongruent, yeah? So you start to resist things in more so, and you're out, then it takes you out of alignment. So number three area that can support you is practicing being the observer of. I remember many, many years ago, I had a, a, a psychologist said to me, I want you to practice putting a little Annette on your shoulder and start to practice being the observer of yourself throughout your day. Observe your feelings, observe your actions and observe your reactions, okay? And, and noticing, you know, when you're, uh, when you're enjoying things because most of the time we're not even letting in our own feelings and our own truth to be able to listen into the intuitiveness. So when you're being the observer of, then there's a separation, meaning you're not separate, but there's a separation from the emotional reaction to being able to just purely observe what's going on over there and then you're creating space so that you can respond, which means you have more stillness, clarity in your mind and body so that you can be in a state of uh, empowerment and responding in a way that is uh, going to empower yourself and others in that very moment. So if that's anything that you would like a little bit more information about, please feel free to um, contact me. I offer a, a free 30-minute discovery coaching session and that we can explore a little bit more about where you're at in um, empowering yourself so that you can stay uh, present to each moment and um, live with purpose in an empowering way and realising your inspirational vision. My name's Annette Stanton. Thank you for tuning in and bye for now.